Hey there guys, so we are back here today to continue on with how to paint a leopard appaloosa. So on the last video, I had painted this guy with a light coat of a white acrylic paint and our next step is, is after he's dry and he's ready to go, our next step is to start working on painting his main apples to color in. So what we're going to need is he's going to be a blue roan. You're going to need black. Super hard, huh? So you're going to need 100% pure black, soft pastel, shaved in a cup, or wherever you want to shave it. Um, you're also going to need a various brushes, fluffy brush, this brush, kind of a round, fluffy brush too, but just depending on what you want to use. Um, and if you want to use references, you may do so, but if you want to use this reference, you may. Um, just depends on what you want to do. So, the first step of order is, is that we're going to do kind of a blend look and shading effect on this horse. So, the nice thing about the black pastels is, is that when you shade on your first layer, it's not 100% pure black. It's actually a very light shade of black. And then as you add more layers, you get the darker and darker and darker and darker black. Okay? So the first step that we're going to do... Oh, let's see. We're going to need one other brush arm. Let's see. We're going to need... Uh, oh, let me see here. We need a stiffy sh box brush. Let's see if I got it here somewhere. Oh, I made stiffy. Okay, so we'll just use this one. This is a stiffy box brush. It's a square one instead of round. Now we're going to take our round one first. Alright. So, we're going to dip in the pastel dust. And we're going to go for his head. And you're just going to start kind of doing a nice back and forth motion. Fill in all the crevices. And you want to go slowly because if you go too fast, it spreads the dust too quickly and you may get unwanted effects. Now, if you notice that there is an area that is picking up, like, let's say, oil from your fingers and you see a fingerprint in the pastel dust because the pastel dust will fill it in. Um, go get a q-tip and use the q-tip to blend it in and to get rid of the excess oil. But basically we're just going to go down the neck with this. here, get it under the mane. And also try to go with the hair um, with the pastel dust because if you do make a mistake it'll look a little bit more authentic. And of course the head will be darker. So as we add more layers to the horse, it'll get darker and darker and darker as we go. And of course, that just takes more layers. And the nice thing about this little cup is, is that his head fits right into it, so all the excess pastel dust just kind of flows back into the cup. Which is nice. All right, so we're gonna go down the head, down the neck,
of course, we've got to do the front of his face. And his ears. Don't forget his ears. Alright, so we're not going to worry about dusting off any of the dust right now. So, let's see here. Where's my photo that I had for you guys somewhere? Oh, here we go. Okay, so this was the reference photo that the um, commissioner wanted, but we agreed on a semi-complex horse, um, which wouldn't include all the crazy mapping and, um, like, just kind of solid almost in some areas, but it would look pretty similar to this. So, the next step that you also have to consider is what markings you're going to have on this horse. Uh, let's see here. So this, uh, this commissioner wants a snip and she wants one white foot marking on the, uh, let's see here, what is it? That, that would be the uh, right front. So you always take that in consideration, especially if you're doing um, a commission horse. So I have to remember that she wants a snip on this horse, um, which wouldn't be too complex because uh, snips are very easy to do. Um, so next step we're going to do is we're going to need our square brush and we're going to start doing kind of a odd looking kind of weird looking blendy pattern thing. You're just kind of randomly doing this latchy thing. Um, this is if you're doing kind of a very extreme roaned horse, especially with the leopard Appaloosa spots on that. And if you saw in the reference photo, he had a lot of this. Um, this is just very basic. I won't do an excessive amount of this. And then of course you can blow away the pastel dust so you get like this weird looking blotch effect. And then of course when you come over with your soft brush to blend in the shaded areas, um, it'll look a lot better. But right now this is kind of just the blotchy stage. take our soft big brush and we're just kind of gonna go with the hair and then when we get down here where the blotch area is we're gonna do what I call the pat and tap mode. So we're just gonna kind of tap and then move, tap and move. So we're blending in these blotchy looking markings. because we don't want them so prominent. Um, and of course, you know, you can do the, all the different sorts of techniques to get what you're looking for, just depending on what you want your leopard apples to look like. Then of course, do a good blow job on the model. So you're gonna blow, get rid of the excess little fluffy things on him. So, now with this horse, he's got dark legs, of course. Um, so I'm using this as kind of a reference. So I'm gonna do dark legs on this horse and this horse is gonna have a dark tail. Um, so the next step of what we're gonna do is his legs. So same technique. 
going to go down the legs with the pastels to fill in the first layer. And then of course you can pull it up the legs to get a faded look. Now this horse is going to have a sock or a stocking on this, uh, this leg. His right front. So we won't have to go all the way down. Um, but if you want to, more than welcome to your horse. But uh, it just doesn't require as much acrylic paint when the time comes. So we're going to pull this up here, pull it down. You're going to do this on all the legs. And of course, it require it'll probably require you probably two or three layers of this pastel dust to get it just filled in enough that it looks right. And then you know we'll start the shading after that. So you gotta keep pulling it up. Make sure it blends. like that. Blow off any dust. Now this guy does have some dark shading um, along his back end there but um, what I'm going to do is he's got more under his belly so I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to make his genital area a little bit darker. pull it up into the crop area and along his croup and kind of up here give it a nice little dappled effect. Take my soft brush and wipe away any excess. And of course you can go over the horse entirely to be on the safe side to make sure that you did indeed get all the stuff off of him. And then do your quick blow job again on him. Make sure there's no excess stuff hanging on him. Alright, so now you gotta go outside, spray him with matte finish, let him dry and then put another probably two coats on him to fill in the areas a little bit darker and then um, you can go from there and um, decide on what you want and all you have to do is just keep adding layers to the black in certain areas but we will do that in the next video after we're spraying. Okay?